ITU Secretary General and elected officials, honorable ministers and ambassadors, head of delegation, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chairman, allow me to start by congratulating you upon the noble role you have been entrusted with to share this conference, which is the highest decision-making organ of the Union. On behalf of the government and the people of South Sudan, I would like to extend our appreciation to the government and the people of the Republic of Romania for the great hospitality accorded to our delegations and for working together with ITU Secretariat to organize this marvelous conference in this beautiful city of Bucharest. Uh, following South Sudan independence in uh, 2011, Telecommunication ICT became our immediate challenge as we inherited one of the least connected territories and population in the world. In tackling this challenge, we sought support and collaboration from our very sister neighboring uh, countries in East Africa regions and from resourceful re uh, regional and international organizations such as African Telecommunication Union, the ITU, among others. These external engagements have given us tremendous exposure that have greatly enhanced our technical capacity and shaped our national ICT policy and regulatory approaches. We remain very grateful to ITU leadership, Zero Secretary General, Mr. Holland Ziho, that has always been supportive to South Sudan on ICT issues since our independence. This is our third participation in ITU PP, and we remain grateful to the ITU membership for the welcoming us and for sharing with us the experience in developing the sector. During the last polypotential conference, South Sudan was still struggling to rule out basic telephone services on uh, 3G. I am pleased to report this conference that we have since made progress. South Sudan have deployed 4G services in all major urban cities thanks to the arrival of our phase fiber in 2020. We also remain grateful to our neighbors, Kenya and Uganda, through whom we have access to the sea cables. This experience shows that the theme of the conference, Connecting to Unite, is already at work in our sub region. South Sudan has just commissioned its first internet exchange phone in an effort to improve the internet user experience in the country as well as uh, promoting uh, local content. The government through Universal Access Fund has continued deployment of infrastructure to facilitate rural connectivity as well as uh, in besides the adoptions of open radio access network by operators while encouraging the use of satellite a terminal to provide service in remote and hard to reach areas. This program is in line with our commitments at recent uh, WTDC 22 concluded in Kigali where South Sudan pledged $60 million Toward the connectivity agenda. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, South Sudan is geographically positioned in the heart of Africa, making it the ultimate crossroad of the interconnecting east to west and south and north. Currently, most connections on the African continent tend to follow the coastlines and inland Africa with a large portions of the population left with no connectivity. In line with the theme of this conference, South Sudan will play a vital role in using connectivity for strengthening unity in our region through our vision of extending broadband infrastructure within inland Africa. South Sudan intends to leverage its geographical locations to serve as connectivity hubs by developing 
by deploying multiple fiber backbones to access the Red Sea through Sudan and the Indian Ocean through Djibouti via Ethiopia and through Kenya. This program will provide sufficient redundancy not only for South Sudan but our immediate neighbors to whom we will provide alternative connectivity roads linking to the Atlantic, Indian Oceans and the Red Sea marine cables. This will be accomplished through meaningful partnership and creation of attractive investment environment through good policy and regulations. South Sudan pledges to remain a committed member of the ITU as we look forward to the more cooperation with the ITU and its members. Thank you very much for listening.